30. Time for Pierce in the Attic. What hymn number is that now? Hymn number, do you know this? That is hymn, well, it's called From Depths of Woe I Cry to Thee. And it is, uh, it doesn't have a hymn. It's in that book, number. right? It, well, it's, it, it says nine. I think this might be from the Lutheran. It's hymn in our, book. it's in our hymn. Oh, it is, yeah. But it's, it's up, but it, yeah. but it's, it's one of those lesson it. hymns. It's yes. pretty. Yep. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Thanks, Holly. Welcome, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday, I guess. Oh. Uh, yeah. Christine reminded us today it's hump day, but not for us because <laughs> our day just started yesterday because Monday's our day off. That's so right. It's not really hump day for us. No, it's not. No. But great to be with everyone. Thanks so much for joining us. Ooh, it's a little toasty up here. I know. It's the heat rises, Holly. Oh, Meatballs come up now too. Welcome, Alex. Welcome. Hi, Alex. We're gonna get a Hi, bigger Jeffrey. screen up here at some point. We need a bigger screen so we can see the names. We keep talking about that, Ali. Just bring up your iPad, maybe, and have multiple devices. Uh, yes, we could do that. Yeah. Meatballs joined us too. Hi, oh, Meatball. You be a good boy. Alex and I are sleepy tonight. How about you? I know. I always said to stay in my pajamas because it's. <laughs> Sleepy time. Meatball. Can people see Meatball? If he decided to join Meatball, tonight. Meatball. What do you think? Yeah. yeah, so Meatball's with us, and Max is, I told him to stay in his pajamas. Because we're sleepy. Well, I get all dressed up. I mean, he looks good in his jammies. <laughs> I know, these are 
He wears, lumberjack. He might as he could go anywhere. Are these from JC Penny Alley? I think, <laughs> I think are. they are. It's a JC Penny brand. How is that of the JC Penny executive? Loyal to pennies. Yeah. yeah. Very loyal. I don't Notice Ollie's haircut? <laughs> Check it out. Isn't it nice? You are just I, rocking it, Ollie. Rocking that here I'm too. Experimenting with my natural color, so Do you wear six masks while you're getting your hair done? Uh, yeah, yeah, I was wet masked up. There wasn't anybody in there. Just, it was just two of us. Yeah. Know, glass sh shields and stuff like that. Oh, glass so, shields? Wow. Plastic shields, whatever. Yeah. So it was fine. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, which reminds me. I want to write down. I have to pray for um, a lovely gal that did my hair for her mother. I'm writing that down right now. Okay, good, Ollie. Good, good. Yep. So yeah, today was Wednesday supper, so it was a nice 100, 100 meal distribution. Sheila Dormy has it down, and Libby, and they've got um, all organized. Ali. Ali was over there helping us too, because we had a few of our regulars who couldn't make it today, of our laborers. Yes, 100 meals tonight, right? 100 meals, yep. That's a um, lot. But good beef, just smell really good, beef, mm. beef chili. Yeah. yeah, it was yummy smelling. So, um, I hope everyone's doing well. I know it was a tough day for, for some of our peeps and I, you're in my yeah. our prayers. We're sorry. Um, my friend Libby too, who's involved with, um, hospice work had a tough, tough day. I know too. I've heard her on the phone a lot. And oh, is that right? The other, in our offices and uh, just, yeah. So we pray for all the families of loved ones and also, Recognize also a lot of healing going on, Ali, a lot of um, good news in the midst of the challenges, that's for sure. Mm, good. So let's take the order for Compton's mind deficient again tonight. Yes. Friday you I, will be. I will okay. on Friday, yep. So page 127 of the prayer book, order for Compton. Okay. What did we search, Ali, where the word Compton comes from? Sounds like complete, like we're, like we're completing the day. It's again, it's a service designed in a Book of Common Prayer, which goes back to 1549. Uh, just like, um, just for this time of night, yeah. The Lord Almighty grants us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God. God. Our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now, and will be forevermore. Amen. Amen. Forevermore, Ali. And uh, Psalm 15 is on page 599 of the prayer book. You're using your Bible instead, 15th Psalm, slightly different translation. I'll pray up to the asterisk, and the congregation and all you can follow, pray the rest of the verse. Psalm 15. Lord, who may dwell in your tabernacle? Who may abide upon your holy hill? Whoever leads a blameless life and does what is right. Who speaks the truth from his heart. There's no guile upon his tongue. He does no evil to his friend. He does not heap contempt upon his neighbor. In his sight the wicked is rejected. But he honors those who fear the Lord. He has sworn to do no wrong. And does not take back his word. Does not give his money in hope of gain. Nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things shall never be overthrown. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and, and to the, the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Okay. Um. All right. Um, so time for, as I remembered, our friend who you, who I was talking about that loves to read scripture, Alice. 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 Yeah. Alice. Alice. How about a partner's name? Um. That'll come to me tomorrow. tomorrow night. <laughs> anyway, yes, the safe. spirit of Alice, who loves to read scripture. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1. Then the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers. Together, the crowd numbered about 120 persons and said, friends, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit through David foretold concerning Judas who became a guide for those who arrested Jesus. For he was numbered among us and was allotted his share in his ministry. So one of the men who have accompanied us during all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day when he was taken up from us, one of these must become a witness with us to his resurrection. So they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was also known as Ju Justice, and Matthew, Matthias, and Matthias. Then they prayed and said, Lord, you know everyone's heart. Show us which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in his ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was added to the eleven apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks, Ollie. Matthias wants Ali from her Netflix show that's in French. You want to say what, Ali? Matthias. 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 <laughs> it's one of the characters is Matthias. Spelled pretty much the same way. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's the same, yeah. <laughs> Matthias. So, yes, yeah, so Matthias was apostle number 13. But of course, um, to separate the apostles from the disciples is not always so uh, necessary or maybe healthy even, because disciples, not just the apostles, but the disciples of Jesus sacrificed much to follow Jesus, and um, including ridicule and uh, expulsion from their families and even death. And then I'd love to hear it includes, they were all constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers, the brothers of Jesus. Again, the brothers were different than the um, apostles and disciples, but the women included too. One of the revolutionary things about Jesus, of course, is that he was also surrounded by women in a time when men and women were so separate. And so, um, a, lot, a lot going on here. And I love that they uh, cast lots to decide. If they had two good candidates, instead of it being a popularity contest, they prayed about it. And he asked for guidance, which has happened a lot in Hebrew scripture. You know, in the Old Testament, and there's several situations where they've cast lots. Remember in 
sadly at the crucifixion they cast lots in the famous way right from the garments the garments of Jesus and so casting lots so if you look the dice is one way we have some a couple of nice little dice that I had somewhere from one of our games and so just classic dice that looks like number eight there I don't, I don't know what that and so dice I want to see who wins though you could throw um whoever gets the highest number wins okay and your, your trip is to Vegas. Uh oh, that's a high number. <laughs> oh, five and a one. I'm going to Vegas. Going to Vegas. Okay, and so, yeah, so we have the stones. Classic, of course, is a quarter. I found this very, this brand new quarter from 2020. It's so thin. It's like, I think we ran out of metal last year. Maybe we used it for thin better purposes. It's shiny, and neither one of us can read. You know, it's one of those quarters. From, um, a place. A place. Or Doesn't it say East River Yeah, East Junction River Bay. East River Bay. If you know where East River Bay is, let me know. I don't think it's in the Turks and Cake Tacos. <laughs> okay, Ali, so you call it heads or tails? Tails. Tails. You want? Oh, thank you. You want a tr trip to East River Bay? <laughs> Wherever that <laughs> is. Okay, good. And, and I'm going to Vegas. And then, of course, um, and so. That's one way, I guess, a coin that sticks to. You can draw the, the, um, the shortest. shortest stick. I know we, we had, uh, you know, churches, in the Episcopal Church, we have something called a vestry, which is our board of advisors and leadership in the parish, elected by the parish. And, um, and so one parish, they had trouble recruiting enough people that would put their name forward. And so they said, remember Rev. Rita, our friend Rev. Rita. So Rev. Rita said, okay, everyone, including no matter what age you were, you know, if you're over 16, legally you could be on the vestry. You would pick, you would pick straws, and the shortest ones, you know, the shortest six, whatever, the small vestry, were on the vestry. And one woman in her ni 90s, which is nothing wrong with that. My mother's 92, she can still be on the vestry again. And uh, anyways, that's how they chose their vestry. And then another one is rocks. In the ancient world, it looks like they had Definitely. rocks pebbles that would have maybe symbols on them and so you'd throw those and try to discern something I mean, you know we don't know what that would mean Ali it was a nice collection right there though isn't it and so throwing rocks so so do a lot so it seems, it seems like certainly it was just chance like it was just like going to Vegas but um, again the, the intention was by by prayer that they would take themselves kind of out of the equation and trust God to choose who would be this next apostle, importantly, to replace Judas. And so remember when we were in Tucson in our first church out of seminary, St. Philip's in the Hills, big, beautiful church, Spanish colonial style, looks like the Alamo. And, um, but above, you know, right, as you're facing the altar, right to the left and to the right, they had pictures of two apostles, and then apostles going all the way back, you know, 12 original apostles going back in the church. They're painted by local artisans. The church is from what, I guess, the turn of the previous century. Yes. Mm -hmm. And local artisans, and so um, Mexican-American painters painted these, you know, just the heads of the apostles. Um, and the one closest to the altar, as you face the altar, to the left, so in the, at the altar's right, was uh, Judas because Judas was an apostle that played a role, a horrifying role in our mind. Um, and also be, before, before Christ could be resurrected, he had to be crucified first. And so Judas, a uh, betrayer, but yet found a place by the side of the altar, uh, maybe in God's mercy, it's symbolic of, God, of God's mercy also, even for Judas. It's shocking that we could think that, but that's the case. So Matthias, so the thing about Matthias was he didn't earn his way to the top or anything. He, he was faithful and traveled with the other uh, apostles, it says, uh, according to the reading here uh, in the Acts of the Apostles. And, but there's nothing else known of him. Look at it. The, the other one, the one that they called Justice, there's more information about him. There's the different names and things about him. But as for Matthias, it just says that he won. He won, right? That's it. Joseph called Barsabbas, also known as Justice. He had a lot of nicknames. No wonder. He had so many aliases. They didn't trust him. The Lord didn't trust him.
But it reminds me of so many times uh, in situations that I'm in, I'm sure it's the same with you, Ali. It's that you're going into a situation and you wonder how you can even um, address the situation or, or you know, kind of rise to the occasion and be effective in a challenging situation. And you just pray, oh God, give me the strength, right? give me the wisdom to have something, some words of comfort in the situation, you know, trusting in the Holy Spirit to guide us beyond our, our discernment, beyond our strength. And so I think it was that way with the apostles. They, tr they cast lots, trusting that God would guide them be be beyond their own reason and, um, and personality competition, you know, mm -hmm. or favoritism. Yeah. Uh, favoritism. So, yeah, so we continue to pray. Pray for that wisdom, pray for that strength. And uh, God never dis disappoints, right? God keeps God's promises. Anything for you, Ali? Have you ever put, have you been, you feeling lucky? Want to try again for your trip to Vegas? <laughs> and, uh, uh, I don't tend to gamble We don't gamble, do we? Much, always know? work too hard for our money. <laughs> Only when the lottery's like 900 million, then I go try to buy a ticket. Did you ever buy, when's the last time you did that? You might have bought two tickets in your life, right? Yeah, exactly. But it was when it was like a humongous amount yeah, of money. Yeah, but it's like that all the time, Ali, but we don't, we don't follow No, that. I mean a colossal amount. I mean, you know, sometimes You'd be it's surprised. You'd be surprised how often it's like $600 million. Oh, well, I, I don't know. I guess I don't pay attention to it, no. which is a good thing. But yeah. no, I don't really. I like dice. It's fun. Yeah, dice I is like fun. to play games. You know? And did I say one of, my, one of my early jobs when I was 17, I worked in a dice factory. Oh, that's yeah, right. That was my, I worked. What, Is that all they made during, in the factory? During the day, I worked in a metal factory. <laughs> and at night, the second shift in a dice factory. They made, uh, I also, well, I I, um, I drilled the hardware onto backgammon sets. I mean, that's what, we like backgammon. That's one of the few games we can play, I right? Oh, you yeah. drew, aw. But there are dice everywhere, like dice all over the floor. They had some nice dice, too, like, like bone dice. Oh. You when you did that, 17 earned some money Aww. so I could drive my sob across country. Yeah, yeah so yeah, so working. dice factory, Ali, by chance. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's enough. In the name of the All Father, right. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We trust, we trust <laughs> in the Lord to guide us. Okay, alrighty. What now, Ali? Time for I him. I don't think I have any, I feel too dry and parched. Here. water on the island, that's for sure. Okay, so 518 in the hymnal. Posted it earlier on Facebook. And you know this one. We'll see if we know this one. <coughs> and it's Westminster Abbey is the name of the tune, Ali, and it's um, Henry Purcell, very famous um, composer, 1659 to 1695. Oh, okay. Didn't last a long time, Ali. 7th century, the words are. Okay. Sorry. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Christ is made the sure foundation. Christ the head and cornerstone. Chosen of the Lord and precious. Binding all the church in one. Holy Zion's help forever, and her confidence alone. All that dedicated city, dearly loved of God on high, in exultant jubilation, Pours perpetual melody. God, the one in three, adoring in glad hymns eternally. To this temple where we call thee, come, O Lord of hosts, to with the 
vouchsafe to all thy servants what they ask of thee to gain, what they gain from thee forever with the blessed to return day and hereafter in the glory evermore with thee to reign. Nice job, Bobby. You didn't go to the basement with me. You kept it up. Oh, nothing left on, no voice left. Good job. I can't find my book. Oh, hold on, Alex. It's down here so it doesn't <laughs> break, doesn't break our coffee table. <laughs> okay, so now TV we're on, table. on page 132, halfway down the page. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty and most merciful God, grant that by the indwelling of your Holy Spirit, you may be enlightened and strengthened for your service. We pray this through Jesus Christ our Lord, who has arranged with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. Give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Amen. Okay, Ollie. Okay. Snake eyes, Ollie. All right. <laughs> Excuse me. We have prayers of the people now. And... Um, Tonight, I ask for your prayers for Louise and her, and her daughter, Melinda, and family. We ask for your prayers for Patsy as she mends from a, uh, a fall on the ice. Mm. We ask for your prayers for um, Alex's friend, Lisa. We pray for her and her family during these trying times. Yes, there's no God's loving presence. We pray for Beverly and David as they mourn their beloved kitty, Cosmo, yes. as he passes over the Rainbow Bridge and becomes a beautiful kitty of the universe. We pray for Mary and Ron and Maureen suffering from COVID. We pray for the repose of the soul of Holly Numi. We pray for Cassandra. We pray for Charlie and Judy. We pray for Peter and Ruth and John, for Blair and Missy, for Skylar and Paula, Claire and family, Ted and family, for Roberto and Aaron and Peter's sister Nancy. We pray for Diane and Mozart. We pray for Josie, Melissa, and Ellie, for Deacons Natalie, James, and Susan, and for Sarah in Point Ray Station. We pray for Brandon's dad, Jim, for Brookie, for Bishop Alan Gates and his wife, Trisha, and Gail Harris, our suffragan bishop. 
for Beth, my priest friend on the Cape, also in for Deb, another priest friend, for Kelly, my regional canon. We pray for Allison, we pray for my dear friend Linda, we pray for Janet, and we pray for Pat as she recovers from her bout with COVID. We pray for Joseph and Adam and Normand and Bent. We pray for all those serving in the armed forces and their families, especially for Jeff, our friend working with the returning troops, the Nantucket Cottage Hospital staff, Fairwinds Counseling Center and staff and the Safe Place Crisis Center here on Nantucket. We pray for the Community Foundation for Nantucket and the Nantucket Interfaith Council Ministries. We pray for those serving medical communities and research communities around the world and for Lucy's family serving there. We pray for Linda from Rehoboth Beach and also St. Louis. We pray for Frank. We pray for Sharon. We pray for our, bro our homeless brothers and sisters. We pray for Kyle Danish. We pray for our sailing friend for his successful treatment. We pray for med flight crews and Coast Guard crews who bring us to safety and first responders, police and firefighters. We pray for Sarah Jane and all those suffering from mental health issues. We pray for the work of the, um, the important work of the mission committee at St. Paul's and especially the feeding ministry that they have. We pray for teachers, students, and parents. We pray for children and everywhere and children at risk. We pray for essential um, food and restaurant workers, especially Julie and Mary and Matt and Mark and Etna and Evan and Maria and Megan and Justine. Seth and Angela, Gabriel. We, our chefs and restaurant people. We pray for uh, all of the musicians and our mu and our music and our music musician friends, especially for Peggy and Sherman, and for Alex and for our music director Joe Hammer, and for Buddy Cavallari. George Young, our saxophone playing friend. We pray for Pastor Enoch Fuzz of Corinthian Church in Nashville. We pray for Mika for Liz and Peter, for Shirley, for Marshall, for Bruce, for Will from Texas, for Vi and George. We pray for Martha in Texas, um, Cece, Bob, the Crenshaw family. We pray for Jeffrey and his, as he um, is suffering with COVID and mm, we pray for his family. family, for comfort for the family. Um, We pray for all those that have died from COVID and we, we pray for the family and friends that grieve them and miss them. We pray for justice, peace, unity, reconciliation. And discernment. And discernment. And, and love. And we pray for your mother Jackie too. My mother Jackie. Sounds she's, stronger. She's doing a little better. We, yeah. Yeah, she's on the mend. She's tough. Okay, so tough gal. Now we're on page one thirty-four, halfway down the page. Uh, no. Down at the bottom of the page. One thirty-four. Yeah. Down at the Let's bottom. Let's pray together. Page. Yep. God is waking, O oh Lord, and God, God is sleeping. sleeping. That awake, awake we may watch, watch with Christ, Christ. And, and asleep, asleep we, we may rest in peace. peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. God is waking, O Lord, and God is sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Okay, uh, Wolf, what's it going to be now? 
Oh, we have a, 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 a lovely piece from the Anonymous Four, the Alcapella, Four Lady Alcapella group. Medieval music mostly, they mm. sing. And um, it's called Miracles of Compostela. I don't think I've ever played this before. Our friend Fernando's birthday too. So happy birthday to Fernando, 83 or 85, somewhere around there. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Love to see you tomorrow night. Peace. Sweet dreams. <laughs>